Thousands of voters in southern Minnesota had doubled the decisions on this primary day. District 1 is having a special election to decide who will serve the remainder of Republican Jim Hagedorn's term. Hagedorn died in February. He had represented the district since 2019. Republican Brad Finstad and Democrat Jeff Ettinger are racing for that spot. It's still early. You can see uh, Brad Finstad there with 59% of the vote, just 13% reporting, though. Whoever wins will only serve for five months unless they win again this November. It looks like uh, both will get a chance to do that. Finstad has 77% of the votes. That's 51% reporting. District 1 voters, where they had a lot on their plate tonight, uh, Joan, I know you have a lot to explain, not just one election, but two. Well, Frank and Aaron, you know, as, as many people are now choosing who their candidate is going to be on the ballot in November, here voters actually got a chance to send someone to Washington right now. You mentioned the former congressman, the late congressman who died in February. Someone has to finish that term because five months is still a long time for a lot of folks here not to have representation in Washington. So what does it mean to voters? What can they expect in the next four or five months? Actually, they say there's a lot. They want to see that whoever is going to win, and it appears that Finstad is going to be the guy. Can he prove that he deserves a full term and that he'll be up for election again in about 90 days? It's a bureaucracy. You have to fight, fight it and work with it and do all kinds of things to make it work. So four or five months of experience before the next term could be a big, big help. I want to see some progress in a person's ability to do what we want them to do, or to what the voters want them to do, and not just a follow the crowd agenda. And what's interesting here in Lesur specifically is they had this first congressional seat in this race today, but coming up in November, they're going to be voting again, but they're going to be in a different district because of redistricting. So we had the former lines that were used for the last 10 years, but of course, because of the census, we redid them. And now come November, we have a new Congress and maps for the next 10 years. Voters very confused about that and kind of frustrated, too. They hope that those candidates in the 2nd Congressional District, they're going to remember that Lesur is now part of that as well. There is a lot to sort Yeah, <laughs> thanks for help clearing it up, Jonah. There's a lot going on for sure. Thank you.